Yes, it is time to think about the holidays and Christmas shopping. Joining me today to talk about Adopt a Family, an important program in our community, we've got the Communications and Outreach Corner Coordinator at Allen County Children's Services, Greg Swinski. And thanks for coming today. Thanks for having me, Holly. Okay, so people might think, oh, December is far away, but this is the time now where you guys have to gear up this program and think about Adopt a Family, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. What we're doing is we're recruiting sponsors right now because we have to, uh, you know, get all the information from sponsors and then we match them with our families. And for our families, Families, we actually have to go out to each house and get a wish list that we will then give the sponsors and it gives them something to go off of when they shop. Mm -hmm. I assume you've seen so many smiles, so many rewarding things when you deliver these gifts or you know that companies deliver these gifts to the families. Yeah, we have sponsors who are individuals, who are um, families, businesses, churches, uh, various types of groups, groups, and um, I've actually gone out on some of the deliveries, actually a number of them, and uh, it, it's just really rewarding because, you know, you see the smile on a ch child's face. Um, you know, Christmas is a magical time for children. You think back to, you know, when we were real little, yeah. and uh, it, it's just that incredible time, and we just want to make sure that every child, you know, especially the ones that we serve, have a, uh, you know, happy holiday season. Yeah, I know sometimes people question, well, how do you get the families together, how, you know, you do go through, you know, and check it out and make sure that these families are not double dipping or something or, you know, that are in need, right? Yeah, every every family that we have, unfortunately, a lot of the families that we have anyways are struggling financially. I mean, it's just clear, um, you know, caseworkers go out to the home and see that they literally have, you know, nothing or not a whole lot. So, um, you know, we can tell right then. But we also have, uh, you know, we review their finances as well. Mm -hmm. So, if you're a group, an individual, as you mentioned, all kinds of size groups, can you say, hey, I want just a smaller family, or hey, we're big, we'll take a family of 10 or whatever. I mean, how does it work out? How do you match? So uh, anyone can choose a, f a sponsor can choose a family anywhere from one child all the way up to however many we may have in that family. I think the uh, biggest we had last year was nine children. But if they want more children than that, um, we have some uh, corporate sponsors or some individuals. Um, uh, we had a local car dealership, uh, uh, the uh, white Honda Toyota dealership last year that sponsored, I believe it was 29 children. So um, we had we have some uh, sponsors that just, um, they, they'll tell us we'll take as many as you can give us. All right, that's exciting. And they do kind of have a list. And I think, isn't it surprising that, like, we need shoes, we need coats, and, you know, that kind of stuff is on the list when you expect it all to be toys or something. And it's not always the, the truth. They don't always ask for all toys. Well, all the families, we, usually the parents, with the help of the caseworker, will fill out the list. And uh, they all fill out for clothing. A lot of them need and want clothing and sometimes it's clothing that they can't afford and uh, so then they get some nice clothing and they're you know part of the cool kids if you will at school because they have that designer clothing their parents may have not uh, otherwise been able to afford. Mm -hmm. Sometimes on the list I mean do you worry about meals too or is it just gifts that we put under the tree? Um, for some of the sponsors we actually we, we will get a family that donates a meal so um, when a meal is donated we've had chief supermarkets for example they donate turkeys and ham each year so we give that to uh, families in need. We've also had people call us and say, hey, I'll uh, buy 10 families uh, Christmas Christmas dinner. And uh, so then we uh, arrange that to have that dropped off usually the day before Christmas. All right, so we need to get the process going. So how do people you know, apply? How do they get the thing going to say, hey, I want to help you out? Okay, so people can contact me at the agency by calling 419-227-8590, or they can send me an email, uh, and uh, they can also go to our website after October 1st, and we will have the sponsor form on there. They just download it, fill it out, and send it right back in an email. Mm -hmm. All right, and how many do you expect to help this year, hopefully? So typically, we serve over 200 children a year through the adopt a family program. Last year, we served 200 117 children. All right, so we need a lot of help, so let's get started. Yep, absolutely. All right, thanks, Greg, for coming today. Thank you for having me. Don't go away. We'll look at the weather forecast next.